I think there's also another awareness of that person that's evil who does something bad. There's an awareness of what, what caused them to, to behave that way. And that, you know, it, fundamentally, they're not an evil, bad person. What they are typically is a person who's been conditioned by experience and they were treated in such a way that you're seeing their emotions, their anger, their sense of injustice play out. You're seeing their What we see as evil is really the result of generally mistreatment. That results in a person living in fear, living in their narrative stories, it's pain, and then lashing out about it. Uh, people aren't born generally born evil. they're treated in a way that they become and be, start behaving that way. They learn to react, defend, fear, uh, be angry by conditioning. Much like, you know, a dog is conditioned. You know, a mean dog doesn't start as a mean dog. It's mistreated and mistreated and mistreated until it's always afraid of being hurt and it's always angry to protect itself because it, it believes that's coming next. And so now it looks like an angry mean dog, but it had to be conditioned to be that way because it, there's never been an angry mean puppy that I've ever seen. They don't start that way. Okay. And humans aren't very much learn emotionally and through behavior and conditioning, punishment, reward, the same way. If there's, if there's something that's evil or there's something that's harmful inside of it, it's not there because that's our, our makeup. That's not who we are. It's there because we've had some experience that we haven't cleaned up and let go of. Miguel used to say, you know, evil is just really a matter of fear and ignorance, not knowing any better. And ignorance, not like somebody stupid, they just don't know any better. They don't, they haven't experienced something different. They have an awareness of something different. And so as you let go of fear and you let go of your not knowing and you embrace and grow, you're, you become a different person. And those parts inside as they, they embrace new experiences become more compassionate, less ignorant, less fearful. So that's how that works. Yeah, I no longer see people as bad people or good people. I see people who kind of the results of the conditioning and results of the narratives they tell themselves. And that transformation is, happens in them and they become a different person as they, they change those stories, change those beliefs and release those emotions. Yeah, the not knowing really works, yeah. The more the more you realize you don't know, the wiser you become. If you, if you think about it, these characters and narrative stories, they're, 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 they're in boxes of absolute certainty. Oh, I know I'm a failure. I know I'm not good enough. I know, I know, I know. Certainty about what we are, about what the world is, about how life is, how the future is going to turn out. Certainty. <laughs> But in a little tiny box, 
no room for po any other possibility or interpretation. And in that is a lot of suffering. And so the more that you open up and the more that you are aware that you don't know, yeah, you're free out, you're free from those boxes of narratives that are, that are trapping and suffocating. 